Hi guys, so welcome to Bill Foss. Today we are fabricating a 5 inch snorkel for the Holden Colorado. Um, this is what we got to work with so far. So we got a 5 inch pipe, two elbows, a 5 inch silicon hose, short piece for 5 inch, and two 5 inch clamps. Um, the reason I'm going 5 inch instead of 2 a twin 4 inch is I don't like the crossover pipe on in the engine bay so I've seen that some people have a a 4 inch crossover pipe on top of the engine and I just don't like the looks of it and I have to move the battery um, to get the pipe where it goes so I reckon 5 inch is going to be enough for what, I, what I'm doing um pretty much the first thing first to start this project we gotta have to go remove the old snorkel from the car and remove the under mud guard plastic cover to get to the airbox cut out so as you can see i've got the old three inch snorkel safari um first thing we have to remove the inner guard with the plastic to get to the bolts of the snorkel and um, and we have to try get into um, the pipe 5 inch pipe in there for the airbox so yeah, just get cracking so what I did here I turned the wheels to the right to get access to these screws I know I should have cleaned my car first but here's what it is it's been raining for a couple of days it's going to get dirty again so to remove these um, screws to take this out so yeah so here it is with a snorkel off so found a bit of um a little bit of rust in some spot but I'm gonna repaint the, this fender probably later on down the track but um, I put this on so I can mark out with the permanent marker where I'm, where I'm gonna cut it as where this hole is I'm gonna use these two existing hole or maybe these three to build um, make up a tab on the new snorkel and actually bolt them on so that way it's pretty solid in there it's going to be bolt on I'm going to reuse this existing um, hole as well and uh, I'm going to remake the bracket for that so so this is what I marked out so far as, as you can see it's I had so many attempts at doing it but I worked out I cut out silicon hose so it's going to be out on a 45 so it's going to be a 45 piece out here and it's going to go straight out here and then probably another 45 or whatever whatever angle that is going up and um what I figured out was these this line here because it's going on a 45 it's, a, it's going to be a narrower um, corner so I marked this smaller than what it actually supposed to be so I can just grind it back anyway so with the dial grinder so there's the hole I cut out so um, see where the silicon hose is it's going to be 45 in there 45 out as I assume that is I need to trim this up probably like 5 mil trim it up 5 mil up to there and I've got to cut 45 piece 45 degree angle piece and I worked out how can I I can shape this up to 
So I sort of did that with the um, die grinder. And yeah. So running out of daylight. I've been working on this for about probably about about an hour this afternoon. So um, we continue this tomorrow morning. See how it goes. Alright, so it's the next day. So we're gonna do a bit more trimming. Make it fit. We're gonna cut the 45 or whatever, whatever angle that is. And um, mark up where I need to cut. Cut the 45. And then see this line here, this is where I gotta cut cut a bit further back so as you can see the way I mark it with the rubber sits you sit further back where this line is so, so I cut it back see how it goes and then I can trim it because that the pipe's gonna be angled down a bit and when it angled down a bit it's um, I need to cut more out of the bottom part so yeah and then we make we, we start from this side make another piece here another piece here work our way up see how we go hopefully I don't stuff it up the first go because that's a very expensive panel So the trick that I learned is to get the angle of the snorkel with this angle here. So um, I use the preference um, angle finder and also you can use one of these if you don't have one. Um, and yeah, I marked it so it said 145, so it'd be about 35 angle on the other side, so 35 up. So, and I marked it by using a hose clamps, you just get a nice straight line because you when you marked it where the where you meant to cut because 45 is about there and now you're cutting it back further about 15 mil or 15 degrees back so it's just a way to um, cut a straight line same thing when you use you can use this on a uh, silicon hose as well so to cut a nice perfect line with Stanley knife so yeah
already there. I had to recut the piece. So now this is a 45 mil piece. And tuck it all together. We gotta go mark it up on the car. And uh, what I did as well. So cut this section up there. So still gotta make it wider for the um, snorkel because I muck it up and um, it just missed the door because the door got to be able to open and close so yeah. so what I've done now I made a bracket just tack it in for now and then there's two original holes that I put in there's a gap here um, when you put this piece in, it's going to cover most of this gap here. I just got to do something for that gap. Either have it another plate on there, extend that out or something to make it make it work. And what I did up here is use the original hole that was on the from the bracket of the old arm um, snorkel so yeah I just screw that in tack that on it's a bit of a weird shape that I need to get um, I was going to I didn't like because there's a lot of gap going on there but when you look from the front it's sort of in line with the pillar so what I so I'm just gonna leave as that because I was gonna come up and do another pie cut into here and then straight up up there but otherwise um, if I do that I'll, it, it'll be in the way of the door being five inch so if, if it was four inch I could tuck it up over the top so it will clear, it will clear that, that door uh, because 5 inches is a lot bigger so with that gap there I can't do anything about it that's where the original hole was for the old um, snorkel I just cut that straight otherwise it would have been a hole there anyway so I just cut that straight there but I'll put something in there later just to cover that up, make it look good after I finish this, I'm going to put, give it a um, edge protector for the, like a rubber edge protector thingy that you put on. So I will go down and buy that. So now we're going to work out this piece here to the, to the silicon hose. So I'm going to put a silicon hose now on there. Either if we have to cut this back or whatever we work that out later so yeah that's where we're at at the moment so what I have here is a uh, piece that go to the airbox so I cut the right angle worked out the angle and I extended 20 mil for the hose clamps so they're gonna go there so I mark two lines where it's going to meet up with the snorkel with the other parts so I'm going to tack that on go test fit it on a car and then we're going to make up a snorkel head on that side so we've got a fair bit of ideas of how to do that and then um, once we do that we fully weld all this these up not sure how we're gonna go with the up uh, if I'm gonna go seamless or do I just leave it as it is I might um, just see how it go anyway um, yeah so it's all tacked up together it's all test fitted it's pretty good so I was thinking with this bracket here before I use the screw 
So I'm thinking about drilling that hole bigger too for the M6 bolts. And remove these plastic screw nuts looking thing. Draw it up, use the M6 nut suit. And then yeah, it should be should be strong enough that that there, you know, you can just ripped out so they are gonna use nut set for that part I couldn't find any lip uh, edge sealed anywhere so hopefully someone in town got got some otherwise I had to wait for um, online shipment so yeah see how I go I'm gonna start welding it up now so it's the next morning it's gonna rain today what I've done, I've got some edge sealed, finally found some, so put some on, I did the nut certs on a pillar there, so yeah, now we're going to start welding up a, welding up the snorkel, I'll see how it go, um, I'll see if I can polish all this up, make it look nice, or I'll get it, get it painted or powder coated at some point. So, yeah, see how that. Let's get welding. So I finished welding, I test fitted it, pretty much a um, couple of things that I'm probably not, there's like a gap here where I'm going to cut another plate and weld, it's like a tapered, just to block off that gap, but right there, so make it all one piece and yeah, but it came out alright. Thought it was going to look big on a car, but overall, you know. Because my car is pretty big anyway, so like, it's 5 inch looks pretty good on it. Just going to make, get rid of that gap. There's a gap down here also, where, where it used to be a hole right there, where the original um, snorkel goes. So I cut past that hole to get rid of that hole, but there's a big gap there now, but no one's gonna sit. So I'm gonna leave as that. That sort of rust spot from the old snorkel where the rocks and dust and that stuck behind and vibrate away. So I rub through the paint. So I'm gonna get rid of this panel respray. Yeah, it came out pretty good. We're gonna weld that piece on and then, um, Give the snorkel a bit of polish, make it look nice, and um, yeah, job's done. If you're wondering what noise in the background, this is all the ducks. They crack every time I talk. So, so this is a finished product. It's all fitted. This sort of extension piece that I'm talking about. I put
put a bit of um, rubber behind there just to stop it from rubbing or anything go behind there and creating a rust same thing up there bit of rubber so yeah lucky I put it on before it start raining so what I did over the world I don't have any tick brush so I use a a drill attachment a um, wire wheel so yeah so it clean up the world make it look decent I'm just gonna keep leave leave it as it is maybe when I go down to Perth or go down south I'll take it in for one of the guys for um do a polish buff and polish on it make it shine but look good as as it is now so it doesn't need to be clean look at the state of my car so this is every day you clean it you're gonna get red dirt on it so there's no point cleaning it probably clean my car probably about once a month so <laughs> so yeah there's a bonnet that I did last episode so if you guys haven't seen this episode go feel free to go check them out it's the last bonnet scoop the bonnet scoop that I put on the, on the last episode so So yeah, looking alright from this side, I thought it was going to be a bit too much gap there up the top between the snorkel and a pillar, but and I had shortened it 100 or probably about 200 mil. So yeah, it looks pretty good there. And I angled the angled the heads in a bit. Got a bit LSA logo on there. So yeah, pretty happy with it. Gonna end the video. So it is. So thank you guys for watching. Go please subscribe, press like, and then check out the last video that I done. So thank you, thank you for watching.